Hi, this is Sister Matoya with Encouraging Words, and I have a word of encouragement today for you from uh, talking about God's faithfulness. In Deuteronomy 7 and 9, it says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. His love continues on and on and on and on. It never fails us, it never stops. Uh, we wanna look in uh, Hebrews, it talks about um, every all the, the patriarchs that were faithful to God, but one stands out to me and it's Joseph. And Joseph, uh, talks about uh, they talk about how godly he was how faithful he was he went through trials he went through temptations um, not on his own accord but uh, what was given to him and he was still faithful to pharaoh and uh, even pharaoh said in genesis 41 38 and pharaoh said unto his servants can we find such a one as this a man who is whom the spirit of god is he saw God's faithfulness in Joseph and how Joseph um, manifested that faithfulness to others and they could see why he was faithful because he served a faithful God. God's faithfulness. God is faithful to his promises for they, re they represent his covenant with mankind. If we will be true to his word, he will be true to us. In Psalms 89, 1 also says, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. And even though it started all the way from Adam and Eve, it still ends up with us today. God has been faithful to each one of us. Um, been living for the Lord for 45 years. And there's not one time that God has failed me. And I've had my ups and downs and ins and outs and failures and trials. But God has been faithful with me, through me, around me, faithful through everything that I've gone through. And I'm still here today watching how my faithful God still works. In Lamentations 3.22, it is the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not they are new every morning great is thy faithfulness there again it tells us about God's faithfulness also in first Kings chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 and it says and keep the charge of the Lord your God to walk in his ways to keep his statutes his commandments his ordinances and his testimonies according to what is written in the law of Moses that you may succeed in all you do and wherever you go. God wants us to be faithful in what we do for him and for others, but we need to learn to keep his statutes, commandments, his ordinances, and testimonies so that the Lord may carry out his promises. If we're faithful to God, he's going to be faithful to us. He's going to carry out those promises that he had wrote in the Bible which he spoke concerning me saying, if your sons are careful in their way to walk before me with all truth, with all their heart and with all their soul, shall not a man lack, lack a man on the throne. God wants so much to carry out his promises to us. He wants us so much to be faithful to him. He wants us to live in faithfulness. He wants us to trust in faithfulness. He wants us to be faithful just plain faithful. I heard a song that's so beautiful, uh, sung by Mickey Mangum, and it says, he's been faithful, faithful to me. And here are the words. In my own suffering, through every pain and tear, there's a God who's been faithful to me. Even when my strength was all gone, when my heart had no song, still in love, he proved faithful to me. Every word he promised is true. Every thought, what I thought was impossible, I've seen God do. He's been faithful, faithful to me. Looking back on his love and mercy I see. Though in my heart I have questioned and failed to believe, he's still faithful, 
faithful to me. A beautiful song. And we can sing that song today too because God's been faithful to us. He gave us a new song. When we were born again, he gave us a new song. He put it on the, us on that solid rock to stand. He gave us a new song, brought us out of the miry clay. And we can be faithful to God because of that. In Jeremiah 32 and 17, it says, Behold, I have made heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is too difficult for God. The Word of God declares when you believe God in your situation, all things become possible to him that believe. Because Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible, only because God is faithful to us. So we serve a faithful God. When you're feeling low or you're feeling down or you're feeling like you haven't heard God answer your prayer, He's still going to be faithful. He's still going to be there for you. So that's my word of encouragement today. God is faithful.